Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get my next guest out. She is, quite simply, one of the world's most famous supermodels. She doesn't normally do chat shows, so we're very excited she's here. Will you please go crazy for the stunning Naomi Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dress, so that? should I sit or should I lay? Uh, well, <laughs> well, let's get to this straight away because uh, Naomi's over here because she has a show on Sky. Is it on Sky Living? It's on yep. Sky Living Monday Mondays at nine o'clock. Called the Face, and this is you and two other very beautiful, successful models. Caroline Weinberg and Erin O'Connor. Okay. And you're mentoring young girls we who are want to be yes. models. Okay. We're mentoring young girls that want to be models. We're split up into um, teams of four. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, also, it's not only the models who are competing with each other, the mentors are also competing with each other. So it does get very hairy. I'm very, very competitive. You do strike me as being a competitive person. And on the show, there are moments you are the one who seems to be taking it the most personally. I take it very personal when one of my girls is put out. Right. I do not like okay. to be have one of my girls eliminated. Yeah. I mean, well, who does? I've been working the longest, and I think I've got the most experience to give. But I imagine uh, of the girls, though, the one who you wouldn't want uh, to get on the bad side of would be Naomi Campbell. No, my girls, I protect like a mother hen. Yeah. They're, they're never going to get on the bad side of me. No, I mean the other... I protect them from the other mentors. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And if the claws have to come out, they come out. Wow. Yeah. And when Naomi's claws come out, yeah. what form does that take these days? It's, it's um, their claws. Good, but I know... Their real claws. In the past, there have been... Definite cat fight. There have been moments, I know you've had a little bit of help, you've had a little bit of management going on with... Oh, uh, please, you know what? Certain you behavioural know what? I think, tics. I think I made the name anger management famous because... No one had heard of it before you. I know, it doesn't... Actually, I, I, I didn't remember they did that film, I said Adam Sun, and I thought... I did that first. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, it's really, anger is an emotion, and um, there's things I had to deal with, like us all, well, at different times of our life. All of us get angry sometimes. Yes, we do. How we deal with it. Do you want us to see you like that, or are you, would you not well, rather people, people saw the softer a, side of you? You do see the softer side of me. Yeah. You see many sides of me. But you seem to prefer episode. talking about the tougher side of yourself. Because... I need to be, people don't think that I am like that. People don't think I'm disciplined. They think I was lazy and everything came easy. I don't think people think that about you. And that I'm, not, that I'm unorganized. People think I can't drive. Can you imagine? Can you drive? Of course I can. I thought you couldn't. I can. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, let's have a look at a clip of the face. And the girls, they'd been arguing beforehand, which you hadn't known about, had you? Your, uh, your yeah. girls have been arguing with each other. Waste of time arguing, because we need that energy for them to put into their work. OK, OK. So. And this is when you find out, and you kind of read them the riot act. This is Naomi in the face. <laughs> You're reading them the riot act. They deserve the riot act. Wow. They deserve and it. And do they respond to that? I found, personally, they did people... They did. Wait till next week, you'll see. I think people respond better normally to a kind of a kind and nurturing... Uh... No, I was kind of nurturing in the beginning, and they didn't listen. So then we have to step it up a notch. I don't want to waste time. Oh. You know you said you were tough on the girls, and you're tough on the girls. Yeah. Was there anyone tough on you when you started out? When you, did you have a mentor figure like that? Or who did you look to for inspiration as well as for kind of seeing how it should be done? My mother was very tough on me in the sense that she didn't want me to model in the first place. And she was very hard in telling me what could go wrong and what I might see. And What, she um, was worried about the scenes you might find yourself in then, or...? I think, you know what, you've got to let your bird fly the coop. You've and got to let your kids grow up, yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, um, whatever, whatever I've done in my life and, you know, drugs, sex and rock and roll, it's, you know... You Presumably you've done... All of those. <laughs> and, and from the look of things, plenty of them. <laughs> you had a good time. You've enjoyed your life. I've enjoyed my life. Uh, but you would never go back there, even if it wasn't I'm an happy where problem. I am today. Yeah. I live in the day. I stay in my day. And I'm happy and I'm doing the face. Well, you th was it, were and you I'm an danger? executive producer and I don't want to go back. But you know what I find remarkable in a way is most people who I've met over the years, and I've known a lot of people mm -hmm. who have had periods of their life of abandon, of mm -hmm. kind of wildness, and they, you know, and they normally have fun. But most of them, you see it on them. When you see it on them, you can see that you don't look like you've had... How did you survive? How did you stay in your line of work? How did you stay looking as good as you do 
But having those I think those everyone reviews. comes to their conclusion no matter what it is that you're addicted to. You can be addicted to work. You know what I mean? Everyone gets to, because it's, it's basically all it is is an escapism. You're all, it's like you're escaping from something no matter what. Yeah. Working out too much is something else you're escaping from. So sure. it's, for me, it's, I came to my realization at 29 that I didn't like myself the way I was, and that was it. And so that's when you called a halt to that kind of behavior? Yes. And never look back, or did you, was it difficult to snap that pattern? No, it's not. It's, every day is a, diff a new day. Every day is like, I'm no perfect human being. I'm a work in progress. And every day it's like, well, shit, I wish I could ever... Blah, blah, blah. No, you cannot. So it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm just living. That's it. Yeah. I'm just living and I'm just breathing. You're just sort of funny and I, I took off my patch today, so I didn't want to wear a patch on. on so, hold it, so you're tonight. still craving cigarettes sometimes? No, I've been wearing the patch because... I don't want to smoke. I want to try and kick it. It's like no, that's, it's, an, it's admirable. I'm not judging. I'm but I didn't. But you still, you still would be smoking, maybe, if you weren't. Um, I'm doing everything to try to not to. If you give up smoking, then that's it. Then you don't booze. Oh, you don't do drugs. Oh. You don't. Do you drink coffee? I bet you don't drink a coffee. I either. never have like coffee. You don't I never drink coffee. Was a coffee because so, I'm not. I've so what's going to be? I've been a tea drinker. Don't you worry. I've got plenty of things on your business. Okay. Well. <laughs> Gonna, I'm worried about you, Nabi. How are you going to unwind after oh, hard don't days? Don't you worry. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Give us some details. No, I will not give okay, you details. Okay, look, imagine this. I know you've thought don't of this scenario. Don't even try. No, I mean, imagine, imagine you were lucky enough to be married to me, right? And I know you've thought about that. <laughs> and you come home after a hard day on the... You come home on a hard day on the catwalk, and you slam the door, and you've had a bad day. You go, oh, those bitches. And I go, what's wrong, darling? Yeah. How do we unwind together? Uh, maybe I should put on sexy lingerie. I'm not wearing any of that shit anymore. <laughs> you put, you yeah, put it on or I put it on? I thought you wanted me to put it on. No, I don't want you to put it on. I don't want to cross-dress her boyfriend or husband. <laughs> Absolutely not. And something's not right with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in touch with my feminine side. Oh, such really? A hey, uh, Naomi came in from Paris, I think. You, were in, I came, you came on I the came Eurostar. In. Yes, I did. And um, we were sending a car to pick you up. And what happened? OK, nothing bad. Don't get... Oh, I'm not defensive. Yes, I? you are. I'm and uh, <laughs> they said you might want to send an extra van for oh, Naomi's yeah. cases. <laughs> yeah. And you're only here for what, three or four days? Yeah, but I'm on way route to Australia. So, for how six many weeks. cases do you travel with normally? Um, I've got four. I'm but a... they're deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess because you are no. travelling no, through. I'm always... just, no, I'm going hot, cold, hot, cold. It's difficult. No, it's okay. Well, that's the menopause. That will be. I'm not. Uh, not yet. Oh, God, no, no. Not yet. You're not for mean. many years yet. Jonathan, that's mean. I'm getting mean. the hot flushes. I'm always getting them. I haven't gotten them yet. Touch wood. But you can take vitamins now to prevent it. You can get a patch as well. You get a patch for it. Natural. Or, or a Gary Barlow album has the same effect. <laughs> I'll play the Gary Barlow album. Yeah, yeah. Years ago, and I interviewed once before on a talk show a long time ago, and um, I remember the time thinking, okay, you know, and please don't take this wrong way, but you, yeah. no one thought a model could have a career that lasted as long as yours back then. I mean, only any models did. We're not supposed to. They say they give us seven to eleven years. Okay, so I assumed you were going to settle down and find a house and maybe start a family somewhere and do all that kind of stuff. Mm. And you've been in a number of relationships, but you haven't really settled down. I kind of did settle down, just not the right person. Um, this is my life. I'm happy. But people would find that not strange particularly, but, you know, you would think... I don't find it strange. Oh, but obviously you... I'm not settling for nothing that's not worth No, you've got to find the right yeah, person. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But I think we all know there won't be a shortage of people asking. Let's skip to the next subject. <laughs> no, let's stick with this one. I don't want to... Jonathan, I'm not going to answer you. Well, I might keep asking, <laughs> may I? <be. laughs> do, you ever, do you ever make the first move with a guy? No. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going over to a man. But I guys, won't. some guys must find you intimidating, I would have thought. I guess some do, then I never, I'm never going to meet them, am I? That's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they're not going to take the risk, they're not going to get the prize, are they, Naomi? They're not get the prize anyway. They have to a long time. Really? How, how long do you keep people waiting for? Let's change subjects. Move on. <laughs> just wanted a rough ballpark figure. <laughs> look, look, Stephen Merchant is out there you know with a notepad. I he he wants to know format. how long it's going to take him. Do you know what? <laughs> your format is actually brilliant now because I was saying back to I don't understand your format of your show. Why don't we just come on seven minutes each and then we're done? And now I realise that you get us here and you wind us down and down and down. <laughs> and then you 
try and get us when we think they're comfortable now. Let's get this question in. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> okay, you got me. You got me, Naomi. Okay. And you're not giving it away. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you think back on Naomi Campbell's career, I mean, obviously, uh, we've all seen thousands of images of you, but occasionally it's the things that weren't planned that I think stick in the head more. And there's the famous shot where you fell over. But it was kind of funny and it was sweet as well and you were laughing at it. Um, but d those shoes, c did you ever walk in them successfully? Um, after that fall, I think I might have been at a shoot on them. I stood in them. I don't know if I walked in them. Okay, because look, we, we, we have them here. No! These are... No! That's, this is like showing Superman kryptonite. <laughs> These are the actual shoes you um, How are you, Shu? How are you? So what are you going to ask me, Jonathan? Well, I thought we might see if you want to catwalk them tonight. That is so can... unfair to put me on a spot like this. That is so wrong because of you. it might be Do nice you have a for pair? You. Have you got a pair? Of course well, I haven't what? got a pair what? of shoes like this. Well, don't you think if I'm going to do it, you should be doing it too to keep me company? I don't... <laughs> okay. I think okay. what we'll do is, look, so you're not on your own out there, why don't I get everyone, yeah. everyone on the show to come out and do their catwalk walk for us? Oh, that would be nice with okay. Nicole and Louis and Will Gary. Will you do it? With the guys, are you up to do this? If, yeah. Come on, Louis. Yeah. Look, okay, Naomi's going to try the shoes for Sage Emma, so if Naomi wants to, let's go up and get the shoes on you, and then we'll come back in here. Let me give you the other one, otherwise you'll be like Cinderella. Let okay. me give you that. Thank you. Naomi Campbell, ladies and gentlemen, she'll be back in a minute. All right, here we go. This is quite exciting. This is history in the making. We're going to see if Naomi can finally pull it off in those shoes. And we're also going to see everyone else do their very best model squad. Who's up first? Yeah. It's Gary Barlow, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, the look. The look was gold. Gary Barlow, ladies and gentlemen. Nicole Schertzinger, here she is. <laughs> yes, work it, girl. Catwalk ready. Nicole Schertzinger. OK, here we go. Alfie Ball. Give it, buddy, come on. You did almost, I think you almost stumbled over there, didn't you? I did stumble. Wow. Oh, I just realised, I'm sorry, we didn't get to see uh, Louis. I'm sorry, let's have the music back on. Uh, Louis's look. got to come. Louis Walsh, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Naomi Campbell!